What could it be? What could it be? Well, today I am partnering up with Timu. They reached out to me and gave me a $140 shopping spree on their website. Now that might not seem like much, but Timu is famous for having very, very inexpensive stuff. I've forgotten half of what I, I bought, so we're just gonna open this up and, and see what I've got. Now, I know I, I've said that I don't like unboxings, but it's Christmas time, so we're, we're just gonna go with it, okay? Tear this open. We're just gonna be doing this in a totally random order. We're just gonna open things as we go. So our first item is an effect pedal, an M-Valve. The m -Vave? There's no L in there. I really wanted there to be an L for some reason, but we're not taking any Ls today, only Ws. So inside the box, we've got a little effect pedal, some instructions that we're not gonna read. Ooh, we're starting off strong. I, as I recall, this is like a um, um, multi-distortion pedal. Let's wire this up and we will see how it sounds. We've gotta go quick, cause we got a lot of stuff to get through. Power, oh, there's a USB port on it. What the heck is that for? I'd probably know if I read the instructions, but I ain't gonna do that, not today. Per usual, I'm gonna be using my Sarek Lincoln because I like it and for no other reason. You can, of course, use your own Lincoln at home if you wanna follow along. If you don't have Lincoln, then, uh, you know, store-bought is fine. We got gain, level, our kind of character switch, and then just a three-band EQ. So let's just turn everything up to a level where we can hear it. Probably gonna need a lot more bass. Let's see. There, we've got parody. All right, so it's a little more subtle overdrive there. They even max out, that is a pretty gentle overdrive. Let's see what our next mode sounds like. A little bit more balls on that one. That's kind of fun. Let's go to the next one. A little less overdrive, a little more bass. That one actually seems like it could work really good for this kind of an instrument. Next one. The different, different flavors, similar though. Next one. Next one. Cool, I think all of those are actually quite usable. And we didn't really touch the EQ much. Those first couple ones seemed a little, little bit weak, but we were able to compensate with the, the three band EQ on there. So even though this is probably technically a guitar pedal, I think that that is very, very usable on bass. Cool first item. It can only go up from here though, right? Oh, let's pull out our next thing. Uh, I don't know what I wanna do here. This one, what's on top here? Oh! Yes, 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 yes. I, I did this on purpose, I remember too, because I knew that the, the pedal, none of the pedals that I picked up are necessarily like built for bass. So what I got was this ABY box, which is basically a line splitter thing. So you can run a unaf an unaffected dry line alongside your distorted one. Now you might need two of these so that you can recombine things at the end or 
Um, stick this into your effects loop. Maybe that's a, an option if you want to use an effects loop on bass. Personally, I don't care to, but I know some people like to do that. But yeah, that's the, uh, the AB switch. Uh, and, and there's no reason to like really plug this in and, and, and demo it because it, it doesn't sound like anything by itself. But what I wanted to point out here is that if you get something like this, th these utility pedals that are just very, very simple, very established circuits, you can get these things extremely cheap. I don't remember what I paid for this. I'll put the, right up here. I'll put, I'll put the product listing for all of these right here as we go along. But you can get stuff like this very, very cheap and there's no reason to pay more for these things because like I said, very simple circuits, there's, there's not much to them, but they're really, really useful. So if you need the utility pedal, like an AB, ABY uh, box like this, where you can either split your signal or have two instruments plugged into the same thing. And this one seems really solid. Just what I can tell you right now is that metal housing, switch feels good, foot switch feels good. If the jacks are anything like the one on this one, then they're great. And then you have different indicator lights. Oh, well, we can actually demonstrate that for the different switching modes. So there you have it, the ABY box like the cheapest one that you will ever, ever know. Cool pedal to have in your arsenal if you ever need something like that. I personally used one of these for a while when I was bringing my synth, which actually you can see in the background right here, my little bass synth. I was running my bass guitar and that keyboard both into my pedal board, and I used an AB box like this so that I could put both of those in there, and it was really useful, really good thing to have. Oh, we're gonna save those things for the end. Mystery. Mystery for later. I'm very curious on that stuff. Next thing we've got... Oh, that's a, this is another thing. The biggest thing in here we're actually also going to be saving for the end. Because that was just a little little thing for, for me. Okay, this is what we want here. Mini chorus pedal, I believe is what this is. Yeah, mini chorus pedal. Let's move that out of the way so we don't get confused. Oh, where's the opening on this? That's what she said. I didn't like that either, I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. Ooh, mini indeed. Also has a manual that we're not going to look at. Let's wire her up really quick. And of course the other end of my cable has fallen down and I can't get up. I've fallen and I can't get up. Okay, so. Ah, so we've got a blend switch, not necessarily just a level. Because the way chorus works is that it's basically doubling your signal. So your dry signal gets combined with the chorus and like puts it like a little bit off and that's what gives it that swirly sound. But yeah, you can turn this all the way off and there's just your dry sound. Stuff that's great for bass. And this wasn't even designed for bass necessarily. Cool. So this is with everything maxed out. So this is as silly as the pedal gets right from the, right from the jump here. Something like that. What's this center knob do? That almost has a flanger sound to it, even though it's a chord. fun and that is tiny so that will fit great on any pedal board very fun what else do we have in here oh we have another distortion pedal so let's swap out our chorus push you to the side like I do all of my problems Oh, 
Also, just as a side note, I just had mouth surgery, gum surgery on my mouth last week, and I ran out of painkillers today. So we're doing great. So if I, also, if I sound funny, that's why. It's because I have stitches inside of my mouth. Looks like a Frankenstein nonsense in there. I'm not gonna show you, because it's gross. So we got another mini pedal here. Okay. Ooh. So the two options that we have are extreme and classic. So we'll start with classic and ease ourselves into extreme. Because I don't want to get too nuts. It's Christmas time after all. Okay, so let's just do the classic set everything at noon, kick her on, and see what happens. Isn't that just like the Boss ODB3 sound, just like right off the bat? That's gotta be what that is, right? That's, that's exactly what that sounds like. Cool. I like the light up knob, that's also fun. How, how crazy does this go before we flip to extreme though? That is a little uh, foreshadowing for you, for anyone who knows what that is. All right, so let's go back to, uh, actually, let's see how, cool. this knob is a little weird and stiff. That doesn't turn real nice. I think the plastic is rubbing on the housing of the pedal. I don't know, on one hand, that makes it so that wherever you stick that knob, it'll just stay there. On the other hand, it kind of feels weird to turn, but if you're like me, you just, Stick the knobs where they sound the best and then you just don't touch them, so maybe that's not that big of a deal anyway. Eh! So... Yeah. How, how subtle can we get with this? What is it? Oh, that's a mid-switch! Or a mid-knob uh, control. That's good to have too, I like that. I'm surprised how well these are performing on bass, by the way. Like a lot of times distortions that are not made for bass will just like suck out all of your low end. These seem to be doing quite well, which is really impressive because again, product listings here, they are pretty inexpensive, very affordable pedals here. That dooms really hard. I think that this pedal, this is the doom pedal. All right, we're gonna go straight up, switch to extreme, strap in, brace yourselves. I think I was expecting a lot more. This starts out pretty extreme. It's called Heavy Thunder. I don't know if that switch is really doing much. I don't think it's doing anything. I don't know, we might have to play around with it a little bit.
I don't think that switch is doing anything. That mid snob is cool though. I kind of like it with way more mids. Cool pedal, I, this switch doesn't do anything. Maybe I got a bad one or something. Cool pedal all the same. You also notice that it comes with this Velcro strip that will fit on the back of there. So if you wanna stick that on a pedal board, you've got that. Cool. My pedal board doesn't have that. So this isn't very useful to me, but most people do. So that is a cool thing for them to just include in the packaging. Oh, there's another thing in here. Oh, it has another foot that's rubber. That's interesting. The little cut out there in the back for, so that you don't cover up the important information that tells you that it was made in China and takes a nine volt power supply. I don't know, man, what do you want from me? What do you want? I don't know. You can't respond to this. Leave a comment right now, just do it. Whatever you're thinking about. Is it a sandwich? Is it an emoji? Is it a girl? Boy? Both? I don't care, no one's judging. All right, next thing we got in the box. Ooh, oh no, you guys. Oh no. So I remember I don't like these clip-on tuners. I, I think these are bad. They generally just don't work for bass very well. And I, I, this, this was like two bucks, two or three dollars, incredibly cheap. And I said, okay, well I'm gonna put it in this video. We're gonna test it out. And then we're going to see if it works very well at all. The packaging got a little squashed. So I guess the first test we're going to see is, did it survive its long journey over the Pacific Ocean? Oh, how funny that they've got the battery clamped in there. I was wondering what that was. Interesting. So let's stick the battery in it. If I can get it to go in there. Okay, there we go. Now it's seated. Put the cover back on. Guitar, oh, it has a bass setting. Ukulele, violin, chromatic. Wow, full featured. Actually, that's the only feature. How do you turn it off? Do I hold the button down? Ah, we're figuring it out. Okay, let's slap this bad boy on my headstock. Ooh, the way that those jaws open, that's very wide. Okay, and it has full 360 degree rotation so you can clamp that on anywhere very nice again like two or three bucks for this thing all right so we're going to start out with the base setting and i'm going to compare it to the tuner i've got in amplitude here Oop, don't throw my phone on the floor please okay so we're a little flat according to amplitude. Let me just put that where it's at. Just check this one string. Ooh. Um, I don't know how to put this in, in a position where you can see it. Maybe we do that and I can just monitor. You see how it's not picking anything up? Not a great sign. Oh, it'll, it'll. It'll pick up the D. I don't know, guys. That doesn't seem to work that good. I would probably say pass on this if you're a bass player. Does the chromatic setting work a little? Oh, we got some activity there. Except that's telling us that it's a B kind of, when that is definitely an E. So, uh, as suspected, uh, $3 chromatic clip-on tuner, not particularly good. We're going to give this one an, a no-go. A no okay, so I have one more guitar-related item, then I've got two more um, other items that are just fun for me as a musician, not necessarily as a bass player. This first one is an iRig 
for way too good of a price. These kinds of things, when I first started playing bass and wanting to record stuff in like 2010, so like 13 years ago, things like this were like a hundred bucks. And I bought this for this much, which is a lot less. <laughs> I couldn't believe that price. I could not believe it. Just didn't make any sense to me at all that something could be that inexpensive. So I may have to rearrange things here a little bit and then we can try it. And then uh, we'll see how that goes. This is one of those things where we might have to read the instructions, even though it is very simple. You've just got an input jack for your bass and an output jack for headphones. And then this other cable that I don't know what this is supposed to do, which is what the instructions are for. Oh, important instructions. Read this first. Yes. Plug your iRig into your device, phone, iPod, touch, or iPad. Ah, well, that's going to be a problem because none of my devices can accept this, and I'm pretty sure my adapter is just out in my car right now. So let's see. Plug it in. Launch Amplitude. So, okay, we got to have a, uh, an app to run it, too. Next thing we've got here, a tiny microphone. I keep seeing people on TikTok use these and I think that they're ridiculous and silly and funny. And so I just had to get one for myself because I just thought it was hilarious. Got a we got a tiny little windscreen to go over top of that. But uh, you know, being lo-fi and terrible sounding is sort of on brand for TikTok. So this is another thing that I think I'll have to get my little adapter from the car and come back on. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is the tiny microphone. I'm going to insert a clip of me using it right now. Okay, so I've got the lapel mic and that is recording into my camera right there. And then I also have the little cute tiny mic and that is recording into the voice memo app on my, on my iPhone. And we're just going to keep swapping back and forth here and see what we like about the sounds. This isn't like a, a fair sound test, but it is a sound test, a sound comparison, so that you can hear what they both sound like. And I probably could be using this time to plug something, but I'm not gonna, because I don't want to. I just want you to know that, that I bought this tiny cute microphone so that I could compete with people on TikTok, and that is literally all that I got it for. Anyway, tell me what you think. Which, which mic do you think sounds better? The lapel mic or the cute little like rose gold mic? I guess. I, I guess that, I guess, yeah, I guess that's the color that is, rose gold. Cool. But the final thing in our Timu shopping extravaganza is just a little, little Christmas gift for myself. Remember how I said before that I was doing some foreshadowing? For those of you who know, da -da -da -da! it's the Ocarina of Time, baby. I've always wanted these and I've just never like gotten one and I just thought it would be so fun to have and so now I got one. I'm the box is a little bit hurt and given that these are like porcelain or glass or something like that, um, I'm a little concerned. However, everything else has been fine. Well, the, the tuner was something. <laughs> okay, so we've got a little carrying case for it, which will be great when I have to make my uh, frequent journeys to the Lost Woods to visit Soraya um, to tell her that I've thrown away her ocarina that she gave me to remember her by in favor of the Ocarina of Time, which is a better ocarina somehow because it's magic-er. I don't know how that works, but that's kind of messed up that you're just like, meh. That was some helpful note. Oh, we've got some full-on songs in here. I I don't think that, that Link ever played Twinkle Twinkle Little Star or Mary Had a Little Lamb. But we do have the Happy New Year song, which will be useful because that's coming right up. By the way, do you have gigs? Are, are you gigging on New Year's Eve? Do you want to film it? Because I made a video all about filming your gigs right here. You should go check that out. And if you film your gig, you should tag me so I can see it. I would love to see your gigs if you're doing that and if that video I made helped you. So please, please do that. Wait, what the heck? What's this hand for? What is this hand for? What is that? What is that doing? Is that like a desktop holder thing? That is so funny. I had no idea that was going to be a part of this. Look at that. Look at that. It's the hand thing. You doing that hand thing? 
Are you still doing that hand thing? I heard you're doing the hand thing today. Interesting. And then the Coupe de Gras, the whole reason for all of this, the Ocarina of Time. Feel the power crunk. It's almost a little more purple than I would, would have imagined, but there we are. That is the Ocarina of Time, according to Timu. So how does this... I don't know how this is supposed to like fit into the hand thing. You doing that hand thing? That seems off balance. I really just don't know how that's supposed to work. And the uh, instructions here just have how to hold it, but not how to have the hand hold it. <laughs> Weird that it's upside down, I guess, so that you can read it this way. So we're just gonna try and play a C. So we hold it like this. That's our sound hole on the back. <coughs> Evelyn, it made a sound! I'm so proud of you. <coughs> it's like a recorder. End of sentence. <laughs> I'm gonna learn how to play like the Zelda songs on this and probably nothing else. Anyway, I'm stoked on that. I'm gonna spend the next three days trying to figure out how to put this on the hand thing in a way that makes it balance without tipping over. Okay, so I did get it to balance, but keyword is balance. I don't, I would not trust this because like, uh, yeah, it, it doesn't stay up there very good, but it can be done. That's all I wanted to show. Well, I think that is it for my haul from my, my Timu Christmas shopping spree. All of this stuff, once again, was less than $140, which is unbelievable for how much silly little things and gadgets I got. So big thanks again to Timu. Um, and I guess we'll just leave her there. Merry Christmas or happy holidays or nothing at all if you don't celebrate anything. Just have a wonderful day. AMP out. See you next time. Were you entertained? I was entertained. Were you? You're just saying that because I, I want you to. A little bit. <laughs>